Okay, here's the deal. I look like hell today. Don't really want to do videos. It's been a day. <laughs> um, but could be a, a huge learning process for more than just me. Or I could be just <laughs> making another video that's pointless and meaningless. Um, computer broke down. I've had this inner voice, sort of like my subconscious mind, saying, get the fuck out of the house. You need to be going and working. And um, I, this voice says I need to be talking to other people and videotaping it. Don't really feel comfortable talking with other people. I, I, I'm just not right with it. I know that it's about asking good questions and not so much giving information. And let's face it, I've been spewing a lot of information. I haven't really been practicing asking good questions. But when you force somebody to um, answer a question, it makes them think. And when they have to think, then they're using their logic. And if you are trying to wake anybody up to some of your logic, then your questions should get them to see your logic as well, or else your logic is way, way off. So my inner voice, when I see my computer break down, you may say, oh, law of attraction, you can make things happen. And it's like, yeah, I could get caught up in the particle. I want this to work. I'm tunnel vision and want to do the same thing. It's a nice pattern. It's comfortable, but it ain't healthy for me. And my inner voice says, go for a walk. Don't put another video. Make deals with the freaking computer. Make deals with it that, uh, okay, I'll only upload if I go for a walk. Okay, computer's still not working. So this problem is telling me something. It wants me to do more. And I know in the back of my mind, I know I've got to work out. If anybody looked at any of my videos from the very beginning, I started a workout plan. I knew that that was the next thing I had to do with my health issues. And um, basically, um, I am on a disability. They say I'm nuts. <laughs> And they pay me the big bucks to be nuts. And I just, you know, stop fighting the universe, including this computer. I don't fight the universe. I look at myself and see what's in myself. You know, and to the outside world, they're going to judge me as nuts because they would say that, no, you want the computer. And because you didn't attract the computer while well, you're saying you know how to make shit happen, you're just going to misunderstand what's inside me and I might be influenced by a lot of other people because I really do love every single one of you and I really love making these videos I really wish I could respond back and forth because that's where I grow this whole channel is about my growth if anybody wants to look in and grow the same as I'm growing then you know for some reason my inner voice said start recording this shit. So the inner voice says you need to get back on track and you really need to work out. I'm feeling that I need a good two months solid to work out and get in shape because along with this disability, the amount of work I had to do and the amount of stress that I was under, um, my joints, Every one of my joints to the wrist were deteriorating, um, excruciating pain. And then I have fibromyalgia, which is another really, you know, excruciatingly painful experience. And uh, when I broke down and started drinking out of these bottles, I mean, the money showed up for whatever it, it was I needed. I ended up being guided to move to this um, desert area, which was the warmest uh, to heal in. It was the best vacation place in Canada. And um, was riding horses for free. 
I uh, could go out my backyard and I'm right in nature in the desert and, and there's mountains and there's lakes and you know like it had everything I lost everything I had no car I was happier I'm reading uh, eating, drinking out of these bottles and it's like making you feel all of these intentions so you know I'm programmed to feel happy and I lose my car and I don't give a shit you know and it was like good I needed to walk and um, although I really really do miss my car um, my healing the whole process I mean I couldn't afford deck on this welfare system they say that I have a lot of medical um, um, resources but I couldn't find any of them um, the fibromyalgia turns out to be fight flight that if you're scared to death and you're tense and you, you know I look like I was in the best shape ever my muscles were always in perfect shape why because they always had a workout 24 7 because I was scared shitless for 50 years basically I'm 52 so um, and the muscle has a lot to do with the joints um, the joints I have um, there's no pain and um, if my muscles are in good shape then my arms are in good shape so I've had to relax the muscles to heal them now I got to get back working out because it's definitely affecting um, my shoulders and my posture and it holds your muscle actually holds up all of your bones <laughs> so as soon as you let you know age and don't think working out is important and I don't really believe working out is important I believe love doing something you know that's active um, so that's why I don't think anybody should ever retire I think you're all productive um, so anyways um, I was hoping to, you know, I, I'm working on this book with uh, my good friend Dave, who this is the purpose of this whole friggin' video today. A lot of nasty words are coming back and forth. And um, this guy is perfect at writing this book. He understands uh, the sciences that I've studied, but he has more of the life experience. And this very very um, thing that I'm trying to teach is happening right now between me and my good friend Dave so Dave with love um, you're wearing glasses that says people are taking advantage of you so as soon as there's an event that comes up there's an event horizon how you handle that event will either tear you apart or make you stronger. And the whole freaking planet is about to go through this black hole, this event, you know, that going into the black hole will tear us apart. Um, this is what we all do we have inside all of your cells you have which some guy you know which that's what science does is that gives it a name and they're called holodynes and inside each one of your cells there's spinning pieces of information that information is your DNA your DNA is nothing but you know knee-jerk reactions you know that as soon as an event happens this is how you handle that problem it's your right brain logical thinking but that in order to have the feelings that go along with the actions they're inspired by these chemicals that are created it's like the brain goes off without you even having time to process what's going on you get affected by an event and you will always respond exactly the same way because of these holodynes and and these holodynes are something from your childhood something from your life experience that says whenever this comes up this is the way you're supposed to react you know nobody's ever there nobody's ever listening um every time i quit smoking something bad happens uh, you know we have these rules that 
um, we live by and then we start creating our reality by now um, today for some odd reason I got up frustrated and my computer's not working and I don't you know I have no idea how long I have this computer for today and it's it's just not a computer that is at my access so I'm really really stressed when my computer ain't working enough to communicate so it's like I need this to be fixed and I have limited resources I only have two discs that I keep um, um, formatting and I already had some errors that they're you know starting not to work as well so it's like I'm really really frustrated need to go know more information Dave has you know been working five o'clock in the morning because he's on the other end of the world you know and that's the only time he can help me out and he spent a lot of time researching he's this guy's brain is so impressive um, his heart is so impressive he will do anything for anybody and he has such a massive love for all of humanity and here he's helping me out but today he wouldn't answer any of my questions and wanting me to do things that I'm thinking that's just really going to cause a lot more problems and I don't have that much time I really thought I wouldn't have the computer this long today and so I got fed up and it's like I need to listen to the universe and the universe is basically telling me don't use this computer maybe the computer completely broke down just so we could have this experience and sort of analyze okay what really went on because I really truly value um, David your friendship I know that you're in a great deal of pain thinking one more person took advantage of you and there's no way no way I think this book is something you're magical at writing and it's a gift to you it's all yours so when I asked you to just keep on writing it was because of that because this is more somebody crossed your path and gave you information and said okay David now do something with it and but if you don't want to do anything with it that's fine um, no pressure you're all so talented enough to make molds for these bottles that I keep talking about um, which a few people have tried and it's like it will change your freaking life because you will see what's really going on and I can be caught up in this emotion because I care and it's really affecting me not a good day to begin with computer doesn't work frustrated with that and then I have an argument with a good friend and then I find out that he's hurting and in a lot of pain and I'm just really really sorry to be participating in causing you pain David there's no way I want to take advantage of you I am deeply deeply sorry um, I'd love to get on this computer at this point I don't know the meaning of why this computer broke down maybe it was just to have this conversation maybe it was for you to see that there's no way no way I would give you everything that I've researched give it all up to you you do what you feel you you know could do with it uh, there's no way I would take advantage of but can you see how frustrating it is to live in a world where good friends can be ended like that over misunderstandings and just the way we handle past experiences we take this to every other relationship that we have pretty sure I've responded in the same way with other friendships in the past um, 
for some reason, I don't blend well with the world. 